students, new computer animation tutorial. What we'll do today is create a bird flying uh, with the wing flapping and then uh, have a looping background go by in the scenery of the background. So first part lesson today will be just about making the wing flap animation and then uh, we'll do a little part two video with uh, getting you going on how to do the moving background. So a little preview can be seen here in WIC. You can kind of see how the background moves on tweens and then the bird kind of chills and the background moves so it creates the illusion that he is flying along um, even when in reality he's really only staying in place. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to start a new doc here in the WIC editor and what we'll want to do first is search for the bird you're going to make fly. So whatever type of bird, whether it's a falcon or an eagle or a blue jay or whatever bird, cardinal, type in whatever you're gonna, bird you're going to choose. So my instance is bald eagle and then followed by flying side view. So that's what you want because you want the wing kind of sticking out and you want the side view. going to be the easiest to uh, translate into an animation. So once you have this image picked up, you can control click on it or alt click on it uh, if you're on your Chromebook uh, and we'll want to save this image as and I'm going to call it bald eagle uh, three because I think I already saved it a couple times and go to save. So now this image is downloaded on my computer and what we'll want to do is upload an asset just like we did with sounds and I want to choose the image off my downloads folder. So look for your downloads folder and then click open. You'll see that uh, image now is an asset in your asset library. You can click and drag it into um, WIC editor. So this layer with the bird image on it, I'm going to call this photo because this one is the bird photo and then I'm going to add a new layer and call this one bird clip because that is what we are going to create is we're going to trace this bird up onto our bird clip layer. So what we'll also want to do is lock this photo layer so it stays and anything we draw just ends up on our bird clip layer. If you try and draw on a locked layer, it'll tell you it's locked. So uh, I'm going to take my pencil tool now and make my size four um, and then zoom in just a little bit so that I can really see um, what I am doing here pretty up close. So back to pencil tool, weight of the line is four, and I'm just going to kind of loosely trace. Okay, it was drawing, but I wasn't seeing it as it was drawing, so it was a little hard to tell what was going on there. All right, so looks like I got my lines going now. I'm going to loosely trace the, uh, you know, the shapes of the bird, the major uh, feather shapes. You don't have to get too crazy into the details of uh, your bird drawing, um, especially at first. Right now, I'm just trying to get down the major shape of it, some of the bigger feathers. Um, you know, I'm not going to go into, like I was saying, all the little tiny details. So just going around the major outline for now. Um, you know, I may go in and do a few smaller details now but not too, too many. So going around, kind of up there, connect to the head, and then I'm gonna make the beak here. So any bird you can choose, uh, it does not have to be bald eagles. Let's go ahead and just add one more line, maybe just the eye I can do as well, just a little dot. And then what I'll do also is just hide this layer to kind of see what my drawing looks like. Um, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, some may, might make some alterations with my path cursor tool to kind of bend or adjust the shape. Maybe like this shape in the head um, looks like it could be lifted up just a little bit. And then, you know, maybe some of these shapes in the feathers, you know, maybe I'll kind of push or pull some of these lines a little bit. Some of these ones that got a little uh, weird on the edge here. So just using the path cursor tool to kind of maybe correct a few of the little you know, some mistakes or, or things that might be not quite how you want them to be with your drawing. Um, this looks pretty good. You know, I'm not going to get too caught up in details right now as we are trying to just get this done for a demo um, and not be anything professional. But all right, so this looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out a step and we can go ahead and start to fill in colors. So take our fill bucket, choose fill color. I'm going to start with like a brown color for the eagle and going to Make sure that bird clip layer is selected so it knows which layer I'm trying to fill on and do my filling of these shapes here. 
This is probably going to require me to zoom in a little bit closer on that part to just fill that little bit. Going to look like it wants to be just a little challenging. So I'm going to zoom way in. Hopefully this doesn't fill the lines. Oh boy, that's fun. Well, okay, I guess I'll chalk that up as just being like a little bit of texture in the feathers, I guess. Um, when zoomed out and letting the animation play, it's probably not going to be a huge deal. So kind of zoom out. Like I said, it's pretty minuscule of a space when you're zoomed out all the way and the animation is playing. So uh, not going to get too caught up in it again, making a demonstration video. So then I want like this golder color for my filling of the beak and the talons back here. And even though you won't be able to see it right now, I do want to make sure that I fill in the uh, face and the tail with white as well. All right, so next let's get into the actual animation part. So making this bird's wing flap. So I'm going to take my cursor tool, select all the parts of my bird, and then in the inspector, I'm going to scroll down and choose make clip. So now what I can do is double click on the bird and we're going to do the animating of the bird wing flap inside the clip section. So clicking on this layer here, um, I'm actually going to add a new layer and call this layer two. I'm going to call this wing and then layer one that has the whole entire bird on it. I'm going to call that one uh, after I move the wing layer up top. I'm going to call this one um, bird or body. Either way works. So from this bird layer, I'm going to just take my eraser tool and I'm going to put my eraser at a pretty thin weight. So I'll just do two for my eraser tool. And I'm going to try to erase a line that just separates the bird's wing from his body. And so I'm going to go back over the line again because I really want to make sure this is clean. I was trying to work on this again earlier and it wasn't quite erasing the pencil line for some reason. So I'm just going to try and go over this and really make sure that the line is actually erased. I'm not sure why it keeps kind of snapping back in. I could make my eraser bigger and try to do it that way. Let's maybe up this eraser to four. And then it um, doesn't look like the eraser actually changed size though. Okay, well, so that works. You want to just slightly erase the space in between Again, okay, so that looks good. At least I got the separation there. Um, really just want a thin separation between the wing and the rest of the bird's body, and it's gonna just make it easier because what we need to do is, is select this wing and then pull it off and put it on its own layer. It's just gonna make animating it um, that much easier. So I'm gonna pan, take my pan so I can see the whole wing. All right, so arrow tool, gonna take this cursor tool and click drag, make a box that goes over just the wing um, and not touch, try not to touch any of the bird itself, the body part, right? It should, even though I didn't have my cursor all the way over this bottom corner, it should select that entire line because it's all technically part of the same uh, shape. So now I'm going to hit Command X to cut. So I'm going to cut and then paste that wing onto the wing layer. So Command V is going to paste it back on. And then what I'll do then is go ahead and just kind of take this wing and just kind of nudge it downwards. So just one, two, uh, maybe three times with my arrow key on my keyboard, uh, just to kind of close that gap that we had erased before and kind of make this come back together as one image. So um, the bird layer now, in order to do the animating of the wing, we'll have to lock this layer. So we want to make sure we lock that bird layer. So as we change the shape of this wing and animate it, um, it's not affected. So I'm going to extend this, uh, the bird layer out 10 frames. And then on the wing layer, we're going to have each frame by frame, the wing getting smaller and smaller. So I'm just going to, um, you could actually do control A or command A to select everything on the wing layer. So command A is kind of easier than doing the cursor uh, drag box method. So I'm going to do control A or command A uh, if you're on your Mac. So Command A selects all, and then I'm going to go Command C, and then on this second frame here, I'm going to click to make a new frame, and then Command V to paste. And all I'm going to do is kind of take my uh, uh, box here and just squish this down a little bit, 
and then maybe give it a slight rotation. So putting your mouse outside the corner and then taking it, clicking and dragging it to give a slight rotation. And then I'm just going to move it down, again just punching the arrow key on my keyboard until that gap is no longer there. So now when I go back and forth here, you can see it looks like this wing is closing to flap. And then just continuing that process basically until I get a good wing flap. So control or controller command A to select all. All right, and that will only work if your bird layer is locked. And then we're going to command C, click on this third frame, command V to paste. And then again, just shrinking it a little bit and then rotating this maybe slightly. And you don't necessarily have to rotate every single time, um, maybe just a little bit, or really just the shrinking is the important part. So that looks pretty good. Um, this little shape overlapping is actually kind of good. I think it, it helps the kind of wrinkle shape. And if you want to go back and actually draw extra um, things on each of these frames, you could go back and add to them, but not necessarily going to do all that uh, in the demo video part. So again, Command A, Command C, and then I'm going to go to this fourth frame, Command V. I'd say about five frames really total should be in uh, you know the least that you do in order to make this wing flap um, you know realistic. You don't want it to go in, down in too many chunks. Um, but again, I'm going to just hit. I have everything selected still, so just going to go Command C and then hit here Command V to paste. Again, just shrinking down a little bit more. Um, and then if you hold Shift and then hit the arrow keys, it actually makes it jump. Um, an increment of a few more. If you just hit the arrow key by itself, it won't um, jump. That's how I kind of made it jump down that whole bit amount. So now you can see you have the wing kind of going down. Um, and then what I want it to do next is maybe flip and go the other way. So kind of below the bird's body for a frame or two. So maybe I do um, one more Command A to select all, Command C, um, click here, Command V. Uh, maybe I'll squish this down. Maybe I'll have it be one more frame where it's kind of down close to his body um, before going flipping the other way. So um, what I'll do now is, like I was saying, so I'm going to have the next one, Command C, Command V, and then I'm going to just take this wing and flip it all the way upside down so it's actually facing, and then click and drag it so it lines up. So the wing is actually facing the other direction now. Okay, uh, one thing you may notice is you don't have this outline edge on the top here, but I'll show you a quick method that we can get that line back. So if you select this shape and then we go to the stroke color here, just go ahead and click black for your stroke color. You can see if that popped in a little black line, so it kind of put an extra line on all the shape. And then if I just go in the weight here and I make it four, so that it matches the rest of the lines, you can see that now you have a black edge going along there. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to do Command A, and I'm just going to nudge this up just a little bit because it did seem like it kind of wasn't lined up right here. Um, now I'm going to do one more frame of this wing kind of flapping downwards before going back up again. And we're just going to copy and paste these frames. So that should be pretty easy. Um, anyway, so what I want to take is this wing, I want to control A, then control C to copy, and then here I'm going to control V, and I'm going to expand this down a little bit, so it's kind of like a downward flap before it pops back up. And just going to take my cursor tool again, click and drag this so that it lines up correctly here. You know, you may want to do a little bit of rotating to it, so it, it looks the right shape. I um, think that that may have got a little messed up because I don't know if I had the whole wing um, selected when I did that. I might have just had the outline. Anyway, so again, this looks pretty good. I'm going to try to speed this up um, for the sake of uh, demo video making, but so you can see the wing goes down and it comes all the way under the body and then now it's going to flip back up. So what I'm going to do is just take all these frames, I'm going to hit Command C, click on this next frame, click Command V, and it pastes those all in. Um, the tough thing I'll have to do now is manually reverse them, right? Because if I was to play this it just goes boom and then it's just going to pop up and then go back down again. But I want to reverse them, so I'm going to if I have all these frames selected, hold down the shift key, 
and that selects multiple frames. That's how I did that there. Um, and then just slide these over one so I can kind of reorder them. I want to pull these back, right? So I want to take this last frame, just this, oops, just this last one, um, and it can be kind of tricky. I'm going to click out here so these aren't selected. And I want to bring this back to the beginning here, all right? So maybe I should have put some more space in between me and this here. Um, and I know this is getting a little tricky, um, but bear with me. Um, so now I'm going to take, like I said, this frame here at the beginning and click and drag this back uh, to go there, right? And then I'll take this one, click and drag it back to go there. Um, I could take maybe these frames, maybe it would be easier if I even went uh, the other way with it where I moved these ones to the end, right? Because these are the end ones. And then take this one, I know is the next one going here. So again, it gets a little, <laughs> I know this may seem a little confusing. I'm just like click a dragon around frames. All I'm doing really is reordering them so that they go in the right direction here. And then this last bit is blank, so I'm just gonna delete it. And then I'm just gonna expand this frame again so that the bird kind of stays with it. Let's see what I have now. Wing goes up and down, right? So wing goes down flaps down for a sec and then starts to go back up and it's open again. All right, so there we have it. That is the finished product, right? So if I go back to my project, uh, you won't see anything other than just the uh, bird, you know, one frame. And if we hit play, you'll see your all your frames kind of playing in action. And we can take this bird and move him wherever we want on the stage. Um, we could shrink him down, hold shift, click and drag to kind of make him smaller if you want to make him smaller. Um, but that is all there is to making this bird's wing flap. And like I said, you can get rid of this photo layer um, when you're all done with that. Before you export, you will probably want to get rid of this photo layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete um, just because I know before I export, uh, I'll want to get rid of that. Um, so make sure that you save your WIC files and then click on export to export um, your final GIF. Um, but we will add a second part with a moving background in here in the next part video lesson. So stay tuned for that and hope you guys have uh, good luck and have fun creating your own bird wing flap animation.